Hi guys, it's Amber and today I'm joined by my lovely mother. Hello. And today she's gonna be cooking me fully Korean meals. She is full Korean, I am half. I was born in Korea in Gwangju when I was real little, like about a month old. The family moved up to Seoul. We immigrated in 1982 when I was 12 years old and we moved to Baltimore, Maryland and we grew up there. Then I've been actually up here in upstate New York for longer than I've ever lived in any other city. Here we are. Yeah, and like it in my Yay! Oh, she loves Korean food, so yeah. I'm happy. Oh, yay! I'm happy to cook We're gonna make um steamed egg, keran jim. It would be on our table all the time. And in Korea, you eat kind of the same food three meals a day. Let's get into it. It's yeah. a super easy and quick breakfast. Oh, I we even bought this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is really like what they do at the restaurants. In Korea, my mom would just use like some pot and just cook it in there. But literally yay. never owned this in our house until yesterday. I wanted to get it for the video, so we're gonna try it out. But you don't have to buy the fancy pot to do it. We're going in with three eggs. Yeah, I think three egg is probably enough for this size. Water, third of a cup. Maybe it's too much, we'll see. Flavor enhancer, it's a uh, soup base, Soup I think. base, yeah. But I think it tastes good because it's got MSG in it. It's actually delicious in any soup. Now you're just gonna, so easy. Bubby! Yeah. Look, it's a blizzard outside today. It looks crazy. So it slowly cooks, stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So when it starts to be about this here, right, it's a little bit more scrambly. Put the lid on it, and then turn it down a little bit, maybe for about a minute or so. And then you're gonna turn it off and let it steam for about a minute or so. Oh my God, I'm chopping like a kid. <laughs> we have a really dull knife. Is oh this gosh. enough or you want more? That's good, that's good. Time for the big reveal. Let's, Let's see, see how it looks. What? Oh, it's not so pretty. Oh no. That's okay. It's all right. Uh, okay. We'll fix it with green onion. Sesame oil. So yummy. Time to eat. Usually the way the table should be set, Ember, is your rice is in front of you and pan huh? is in the middle of the table. No. But then we're... So put that... No. Yeah, move the, the pad. Huh? Move the pad to the middle of the table because it's a family style. Oh, right. it's not so just for it's me. It's not just for you. American okay, in me. American in you. There you go. <laughs> and then you put your rice right here. And my banchan. And your banchan right there. If you didn't know, banchan are little side dishes that you eat with all your meals. So we have kimchi, seaweed, or kim. And then my rice, which is bap. Pop. Pop. So I think it cooled oh, down. Oh, don't touch it. It's hot. <laughs> Ooh, it's deflated. That's <laughs> so flat. So if you are not sure about how to cook rice, you don't have to have a fancy rice cooker. You can use any pot. If you're not sure, get one of these. Get one of these. <laughs> I, it's the first time actually I bought one of these. I always cook my rice at home, but these are the instant cooked white rice. Yeah. And voila. They also there have them go. at like Costco, I think. So oh, do they? Very accessible nice. to everybody. You taught me this last time. What's that? Chan Oh, that's very good. Chan Yeah, that means bon appetit. Let's get into it. Take a scoop full and then you can put it right in here or you can just eat it right off the thing. Chan Ha. Oh, so yummy. Kids like it because it's very mild. Thank you, mom. You're this is so good. Did you show this? Oh, I didn't yet. So this is genyip, which is sesame leaves or a perillo. Mm. So my harmony, not your harmony, but my harmony, right? Yeah. My father's mother lived in uh, countryside at uh, Daejeon. <laughs> Their kitchen didn't have a stove or anything. They burned wood to make food, like fire a fire pit. pit. The main door to the house was this huge wooden door and there were like scratch marks on them. And my cousins would tell me that there were tigers in the middle of the night. They came to like scratch our doors and used to scare the heck out of me. Oh. So I couldn't sleep at night. If I hear no noises, I'm like, oh my God, are there tigers outside? But yeah. I think truthfully, maybe there were tigers in the years. But I think those were dog scratch marks, but they told me they were tiger marks and they used to scare me so bad. Oh no! Wasted! <laughs> 잘 먹었습니다! That means after. So, it's before and after? 잘 먹었습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다 is before. 잘 먹었습니다 is after. Oh, beasted! We're done. <laughs> Munched. Okay, now we're still hungry, so we're gonna go straight into lunch. And for lunch, we're making japoki, which is the mega famous rice cakes dish with the red spicy sauce. So we're gonna see how it's done. So this is what we buy at the store. People tell me all the time, they're like, oh my god, I really wanna try it. Japoki? Japoki. Oh. And I think that like, American people see like the red sauce. Oh, they're they like it's tomato sauce. Yeah. yeah and no. I'm like, no, it's spicy. It's a pepper paste. So you're supposed to soak this in the water for a few minutes. How much do we want? Since we're using the whole package, we'll have to do almost two cups here. You just have to boil the water. The main ingredient for the pookie 
is Kuchuja, and I like this brand. It's basically a hot pepper paste. It's about a full spoon. The people who really like it spicy will put hot pepper flakes in here too, but I don't really care for that much spice, so Dang. we'll just do a little bit of this. One. I like my tteokbokki a little sweeter. Kanjang. Kanjang? Kanjang. What the heck are you doing? Well, do this that? is a Japanese kikuman, but it's kanjang. Gochujang, mm. kanjang, duenjang, everything All ends the in jang. Yeah. You can use the beef dashi, or there's an anchovy dashi, but we like the beef dashi. Maybe about that much. We can always add a little more later. Draining the duckbokki? Or duckbokki? Duckbokki. I always heard it as a kid as like duckbokki. No, duck. Duckbokki. I thought it was duckbokki. Alright, so. Oh, that looks so mild. People are gonna be like, oh my gosh. We're supposed to cut it in like pretty triangles. Pieces. Yeah. So we've thrown in the fish cake. We're gonna let that go for a little bit. Thank you, Mom. There you go. It's so hard to grab with a chopstick. <laughs> That's why I gave you more. Good. I'll feed it to you. Mm. Oh, yummy. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, it's a little spicy it's for me. It's a little me. spicy. I know. It's, only, it's like beige color. The John Cook special. Oh my god, it's so sweet. With some mozzarella cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. I honestly have never eaten a tteokbokki with cheese, so let me try it yeah. too. Yeah, that is some good pool. Yeah. <laughs> it just like takes over the whole taste. Like it's just maybe you've got too much cheese on it. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Yummy. All right, now we're gonna do some Korean Q and A trivia, Q &A. pop culture pop stuff culture. that's going on right now. K-pops and other things. Oh, we're gonna write down the answer. So I want to start off with just a basic Korean trivia to see if I even know like the most basic facts about Korea. Okay. Can you name me three Korean cities? Yep. No way. You only know. Yeah, I figure that. So, sure. But I know my stuff. Ah, uh, I gotta tell you, Gangnam is a small town in Seoul. So Gangnam oh. is part of Seoul. It's like, like if you say like West Village oh. in New York yeah, City. Yeah, in New York City. Yeah, so it's like a small part of Seoul. I had Gangnam style. Yeah. So. Hey, that's a legitimate city. Yeah. yeah. Busan. Definitely. Can I think of one more? I told you the name of my city I was I born. Know. Do you remember that one? Daejeon? Uh, no, Gwangju. God damn. But I think okay. you're trying to think of Daejeon is actually Daejeon. the city. Daejeon. But Jeju do, Jeju. Oh. Jeju is a city on the island off of Korean Peninsula. Oh, oh, oh. What is the form of currency? That's right. One. One. Can you write your name in Korean? Grandma and you taught me different versions. I know, but that's okay. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. It says Emba. Emba. Yeah, right? but I think also my mother okay. wrote it like this. The bottom one is what my grandma said. My Haimini. Haimini said Haimini. that. Haimini. Yeah. What is your favorite K-pop band of all time? Wait, well, I know the answer. Do you know the answer? That's my question to you. Oh, you wrote it in Korean. <laughs> I only wrote the Korean wrong. How's that? Super Junior! Super Junior! That's my favorite. I yeah. love Super Junior! Yeah. I guess this is considered second generation Korean pop, but I have to say, my favorite K pop. Wait, should I guess? Oh, uh, you think Let you me know? Guess. It's an old one? Or? Older one. It's a girl group. It's not a, it's oh, a small oh, girl oh. group. I'm gonna know it when you say it. Your favorite group of all time is 21, of course! 21! Uh, these are both groups from like the early 2010s. Super Junior was like the it band. Right. And they used to like pair up with Girls' Generation and do songs together because they both had gigantic mm. groups. And mm. it was just like, you had to be there. So good. It was special times. Oh, next yeah. trivia question for you. Who's my bias in Super Junior? It is no other than their mangne Kyuyeon! Yes! Mangne, the baby? The baby is. Beautiful voice. Handsome face. Love him still. I yeah. still love him as a commentator. On single day oh, first! He's the, uh, literally the we best. We love him up there. We watched all three seasons, and yeah. the third season hasn't quite finished yet. For those who don't know, Singles Inferno is like a reality dating show in Korea, and it's probably the most popular one currently. Yeah. Played on uh, Netflix. You can find that yeah. on Netflix. Watch yeah. on it. Honestly, it's good. Do you think the third season is the best one so far? Or or do you like the previous ones? Um, I think the second one. I think the last my, season was kind of interesting because it was the most like wholesome and like heartbreaking. I think yeah. this one's all drama. It's a lot of drama with yeah. the basketball player. Uh, Hee. Gross. He's a red 
flag. Red flag. Because he just likes girls like kissing his butt. And anyone yeah. who likes him, he likes him back. Exactly. Yeah, He's... at that age too, you would think by that age, he would know better. Literally, that's right? the most unbelievable part. He's like part. 10 years older than the girls. So that's yeah. our favorite show right now. Oh, mom. Okay, yeah. funny question for you. Who's my favorite member of Singles Inferno season three? Man. Uh, yeah. He's the tanned one with the big muscles. <gasps> what is his name? It sounds like Jim Sock. That's your hint. <laughs> what is this Korean name? The Jin Sok. Jin Sok? Yes, I do like him. I think he's very wholesome. My favorite unproblematic king. Also, I just realized we forgot on the topic of Super Junior. I was <gasps> the biggest fan. Yes. And I have to show you something. I yeah. found it. It was in the attic. Yeah. So I have a cousin, a long distance cousin, who is in the music industry. He was able to get us poster of Super, uh, Super Junior. Junior. Signatures. Signatures from each member. Oh, Let's see if you remember. I got this. I got yeah, this. Yeah. Shin Dong, Sungmin, Yesung, Itok, Kyuhyun, Dong Ek, Hangin, Itok, Ryok. Rio, Rio. This has been probably off of the wall less 10 years ago because yeah. it was on there forever. Let's talk about my other favorite K pop group, BTS. Who is my favorite BTS member? <sighs> this could go one of two ways. It could go one of our two. Oh, kitty. Do I pick your son, Jungkook, or do I pick who I think is your actual favorite? They're all talented. V. Oh no, I never really, I mean, I think he is very talented. I Like I said, I do love all of them, but that was not my original bias. It's actually on the table as part of his name. Jin Seok? Not Jin Seok, but Jin, oh, oh yeah. Jin? I always thought Jin was really a kind-hearted, well-mannered yeah. boy. But, but I now. think now I have to say Jungkook is my bias. I mean, there's no one more talented, well-rounded, and funny. Yeah. Although I do see him smoking, and I don't like all of his piercing and all the tattoos. So maybe I'll knock <laughs> off some points for that. Classic but, Korean mom. I mean, I do love Jin. Jin was my son. Huh? He's <laughs> Jin was my son? You know, because if you know anything about how they suffered when they were not popular, Jin oh. comes from a very well-to-do family. So he would take all the boys to his house and feed them. Jin is actually the one who took care of them the most. Wow. Is Jin worldwide handsome? Worldwide handsome, you know? Yes, he is. Handsome. Oh, I like yeah, Jin. Okay, of course, of course. I get that mixed up sometimes. Yeah. So. Uh, what is my favorite Korean dish? Or what is it that I always order when we go to the Korean restaurant? Sundubu chige? That's right. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I know what I like. I like seafood, sundubu, which is soft, silky tofu stew. Yeah. yeah. Jajangmyeon, which is black bean noodles. I have it right here. I'll show it to you. Spaghetti is one of my all time favorite instant noodle. And then what else do we have here? This is my instant ramyeon. This is very flavorful. Anything from Shin is really good. I believe this is number one ramen um, company. Yeah. Oh, For all kitty. Yeah, baby girl. What does kitty and Korean say? Meow, meow. Uh, in Korea, we say the animal sounds are a little different, I guess, to uh, what American people would say. Cats sound like meow, meow. And then they say that dogs, they say mong mong. Then here is, what's your favorite snack, Amber? Turtle chips, but the seaweed flavor only. These are my favorite. You could finish a whole bag so easily because the texture is so, so crunchy light. and light. So These are HMR. new. These are not something that I grew up with, yeah. but I do like it. Favorite probably is the shrimp chip. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for our little Q and A. We'll catch you guys later for dinner. Here's our sweet potatoes that we're roasting. Yeah, what was the name we just said? Koguma. Koguma. They have a purple outside, but a tan interior, and they're yeah. really sweet and delicious. Now we're starting with our dinner, which is the radish beef soup. Mu, mu, where's my mu? Mu? No, that's a cookie. Cookie is me. The cow goes mu. Where's my? So we're just peeling our radish. Where I manifested him because he kind of looks like Hyun. That's right, he does yeah. look a lot like Hyun. Here's the final meal. We have the soup and the zucchini. I've never had this. Mm. 
Mmm, clean That's good. broth. Rice in there, and then you just mix it up and you eat it. What places would you like to visit or what would you like to do if we went to Korea in the future? Mmm. Obviously eat a lot of food. Okay. Go to the convenience stores. I want to get the little drinks like the girls do oh, on TikTok. Oh, with the ice in yeah. the cup and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In my New Year's video, I said that going to Korea would be an epic goal for this year. I want to go to Korea with my mom because she's never been since she literally immigrated here when she was 12. We'll see if it happens. See? Everybody's yeah. really busy. Andrew's still in college, right. so it's like it's we want to be able to time off, and then it's hard to get days off from me. Mm -hmm. We gotta teach you some Korean before you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think maybe the best way to do it is just watch K drama. I am. Um, have you watched any actual drama on TV? When I was a baby, I did with grandma. Mm -hmm. Boys over flowers. Was my oh, yeah, choice. yeah, yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. last drama that I watched that I thought was kind of fun was um, Dr. Cha. When before that I liked was Glory. Glory was kind of interesting. Oh. Yummy, yummy. Very good, Amber. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, Mom. This All was right. so yummy. Oh, we still have the sweet potatoes, though. Ah, forgot about that. <laughs> Oh my god, they smell so good. The sweet potatoes are out of the oven. Literally smells like marshmallows. Oh, wait, yeah. mom. Do we have a, where's the big lighter for the candles? I like, want to caramelize it. I've been seeing people do this. Oh, thank you, mom. Look how much hair you have, though, now. It's I know amazing. her. amazing. I was it's a bald so baby. Thick. Okay, I have my sugar right here. <laughs> I think you need a torch. I got it. <laughs> it's like a birthday see, cake. It's, I see it kind of working. Okay, we just barely got, got some brulee. brulee on it. Let's see if we can hear any crunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's insert a cracking sound effect. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Mmm, I of feel it's good. Yeah, it's got sugar on sweet potato. Oh, yummy. Yummy. Yeah. I taste the crunch in it. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's pretty much it for our day of eating. Oh. Thank you, Mom, for cooking for You're me. Mwah. This you. was so much fun. It was fun. It was a snowy yeah. day. We couldn't even get out of the house. Yeah. So it was good. If you guys want to see my mom do some more cooking, yeah. let us know what food you'd want to see her make next. <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe to the video. That really helps us out. And we'll see you guys next time. Annyeong! Egg yo, egg yo. <laughs>